Southwark Council is leading one of the most exciting, innovative regeneration programmes in Europe. For many Londoners, the Elephant and Castle is a place where people travel through. What we want to do is make it a place where they'll want to visit and where they'll want to stay. We need to recreate urban parks, we need to re recreate open spaces. The Elephant and Castle is overly dominated by traffic. We need to reclaim some of that space for pedestrians and cyclists. We need to make the Elephant and Castle work for the people who live here. We need to provide the quality new homes that they deserve and the education that will mean families want to stay in the area. What we were told once was, at the beginning, what they were trying to do was to introduce a better class of people to the Elephant and Castle. I think certainly the feeling among <laughs> most of the people that we spoke with was that they were very happy here, they couldn't see any reason why they needed to move. And I think they were very angry at the idea that they were making way for these new homes that they wouldn't be able to afford. One former resident showed me the original proposals. Lots of promises seem to have vanished over the years. But the major concern now is how many of the new flats will, in a booming area, be genuinely affordable. So that Council's affordable housing policy requires 35% affordable housing for anything built at the Elephant. So that Council struck a deal with the developers lend lease for only 25%. So we're very concerned about this. We're very concerned that in the end there will be no affordable housing worthy of the name built on this development. A recent outline application contains no guarantee of any affordable homes. We're going to make this project the greenest regeneration project in London. We're tripling the number of homes and shops, but it will still be a carbon neutral development. It's big, it's very exciting because if you can do a carbon positive development that big, then no one in the world will have any reason not to do it. So you've seen the future in its Elephant and Castle in South London? I've seen the future and I think all these carbon positive buildings are it. There's an enormous amount of embodied energy in the, in the materials used to construct this estate and it's still basically um, structurally sound and actually in, in not bad condition at all. I mean it, it could very easily be refurbished. They are not homes that we can afford to maintain. Building new, high quality, sustainable, environmentally friendly homes is definitely the right way to go. I don't think it did fail. You see, for instance, the council said oh, it was unsafe, but I don't think it was. It was pretty much like growing up in any other South London council estate. It was certainly nothing like uh, the reputation that the Haygate has in its latter days. The only reason in my opinion, that this estate is coming down is this land is worth millions. Millions to who? The developers? To Southwark Council? I think a lot of people have enjoyed living here. Demolishing it will um, dis disturb, disrupt, destroy the community that's been here. And, uh, and in environmental terms, it's a disaster. I was actually taking medication from my nerves um, because that's what it did to me. The place they offered me was absolutely filthy, but it's been cleaned up now and we'll make it an all. But the truth is, none of us would have moved if we had a choice. 